back with another live stream. How's everybody doing? All right, so we should be good. Everything looks good on my There it is. All right, so we are back with some more missed survival. Uh, last episode was pretty interesting. Um, we were trying to get uh, just established in the game, you know, basic survival needs, water, food, things like that. And um, we're still struggling on the waterfront because the only way to get purified water in the game is to, um, you have to like build a specific like purifier for it. Um, so early game, if you don't have, you know, cans of drink, like we didn't, we didn't have anything. We, we were having a pretty rough time, but before we do that, uh, we're actually going to head out and we're going to go and try to, uh, go on a looting run, you know, hit a couple stores really quick because we found some stores on the main road there that uh, were pretty chock full of loot. So we're probably going to head back over that way, grab a bunch of car or, uh, cans of drink, and then we won't have to worry about anything. Uh, let me see. What's, what? Is there just no, like, continue? I don't know which one we were on. What is this? Guess we can just load all of them and see. The Grove Academy, what's going on? But how's everybody doing? All right, let's see here. Nah, we'll play. Oh, I think this is our other playthrough, guys. Yeah, so that's not it. Um, that was our from our first ever playthrough. Where the hell did we get an M4 from though? That shit's sick. Um, so there has been no official like. Well, Undead Labs just did a stream the other day. Um, uh, yesterday I believe it was. Um, talking about or the day before yesterday talking about update 30 and from what he said I, i'm pretty sure we'll see update 30 next week uh because jeffrey wasn't he didn't give a date like he didn't want to say a day or a time uh but he did kind of slip up at the end there and say you know you should see the game by next week when we do our stream so there's a good chance we might see it next week is this better than scum um it doesn't have the depth that scum has that's for sure uh but that doesn't mean it's any worse like this game is still pretty dope okay so let me check my make sure inventory is good i want to get this meat cooked up but we got a lot of work ahead of us so let's try to get some of this crap put away we're gonna go on a loot run we need more storage i see somebody in chat say we need a car we definitely need a car okay let's stack that together i'm gonna drop these logs down I sprained my ankle. I forgot about that. That kind of makes going on a looting run um, a little on the crappy side, but it looks like the ankle's almost healed. If I had some pain medication, we'd be able to kind of overlook it, but it is what it is. Got our dried meat here. This is our water purifier. Now, the only thing is we need matches, and I, I found matches last episode, but what ended up happening was... Uh, on our way back, it was raining, and our matches were uh, destroyed on the way back. So, there was that. Our health is pretty damn low right now, man. All right, so we're going to eat some of this dried meat. See if we can maybe heal up a little bit. Okay, um, and we have obviously no water right now. So I'm going to grab this tire here. We'll, we'll throw this on the car. This will put us at two tires. The only thing I'm worried about is if we get even, like, touched by something. That's it, guys. We're dead. All right. 
Okay, so we'll throw that on there. As you guys can see, the, uh... The car is coming together nicely. I'm almost tempted to just freaking... Um... Kill our character off, because I don't want to risk going out... And it's almost nighttime. I don't want to risk going out with all my gear and die. Gotta see if I have anything I could drink upstairs, because, yeah, it's about to get, uh... About to be getting dark here soon. We have anything for thirst. I do have nine nine millimeter bullets though. That's pretty legit. And we got our nine millimeter here. Uh swap that out. That away. Actually, I have a decent amount of ammo here. So those are antibiotics. I don't think I have any, yeah, like medicine or anything like that. So this actually satisfies hunger and thirst. But like I said, I don't really think it's worth even trying to save this character right now. Well, we're going to sleep until the morning and we'll see if that... Uh, if that helps us out any, but we need storage. I wonder if you can build storage crates. I I don't know if this game is on any other system other than uh, PC. Okay, so I don't see any buildable storage, but uh, I know you can take storage from other places and bring it over here. Stack. Yeah, if I had another car, I would totally store shit in it, but at the moment, we don't. Okay, so it looks like our health is going up, actually, which is good. So I'm going to actually eat this. We might be able to salvage this character. It's only on Steam. Okay. Uh, look at works. Oh, yeah. I always forget the workstation. The workbench here has its own crafting. Oh, so yeah, we, we could craft matches, but we need charcoal. Bucket, watering can, gas can, weapons, ammunition, gears, shirts, wall lights, shield. So I don't see any, uh, maybe on an upgraded workbench, but at the right now, a level one workbench isn't good. So what do we need this? Click gear to upgrade. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so that's how you can upgrade your actual workstations. But we'll worry about that later on. Let's grab some sleep. Um, we're going to go for 12 hours. Uh, we'll go for 11 hours. Yep, health's going back up. Great. So we're good. Now we are dehydrated again. And why is it dark? It's 7 in the morning. Oh. Okay, so we didn't sleep through the whole night. Monet, thank you so much for the nine months. Well, hey, we're just hanging out, trying to survive, uh, doing a very bad job at it. But we're trying. We are trying. I'm going to fill up that canister. Um, it's still really, really dark out. Um, we're going to sleep for another two hours. Hopefully it'll be a little lighter out. There we go. Now we need to get water. That needs to happen. So I'm also going to grab 
my antibiotics just in case I get sick. Oh, uh, because we're going to have to drink some dirty water. So there we go. Our hunger is up a decent bit. We, we just got to head out and get some uh, water. Truck is getting there, though, guys. The truck just needs, I believe, a uh, spark plug and two more tires and some engine parts. I don't know what time the infected go away, but I think they're gone by at least six in the morning, I'd say. Main point of the run that we're on right now, guys, food and water. Or food and drink. And maybe bullets if we find some bullets, but... So as you guys know, I, uh, I accidentally respawned all the ammo on the, or the loot on the map. Uh, I, there's like a button that you can hit and it literally respawns all the loot. So some of the places that we hit last episode. Yeah, so the vision is blurry because we are we were dehydrated. Might be able to avoid this wolf altogether. Uh, or we should just take him out. Take the skin? What skin? Damn, did I just have my light on that whole time? I think I did. What is it for? All right, so we're going to fill water really quick. Let's drink. We're going to fill this. Then we're going to fill this. Uh, if you're saying my face cam is blurry, then... Uh, you you gotta check your uh, YouTube um, settings because yeah I can see my playback it looks good sometimes YouTube will uh, automatically put you on like 720p so people are saying there was some kind of skin in here. Yeah, YouTube is really really weird uh, with with the settings. Oh, this skin. Okay, so it says that 
My health is going down, but why? Right now, we don't have anything wrong with us. Uh, if we do get a stomach ache from that drinking the dirty water, I got my antibiotics here for food poisoning. We got some water here. Let's keep heading out. So we do got a couple shotgun shells. I don't know why, guys, but it looks kind of misty out. But I don't think this is the actual mist. Panther King, I can see you, brother. Is it easy to make a fire? Um, Actually, crafting a fire isn't the issue. It's lighting the fire that's the issue. No, we've been having a lot of problems with... Um, like, because you can't use a, a lighter. Like, we have a lighter on us. Um, but it's used as a light source. Like, you can't use it to light, which is weird. Monster Gamer, thank you for the sub. Oh, there we go. We got some matches right there. Perfect. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I want to go head back over here. Uh, my lighter has fluid in it. But yeah, you still can't use it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Match is fine. That was pretty big. We don't need any of this crap yet. Bear. So you know what? We're going to head back. We get our water situation finally taken care of. Um, and then we'll head out on a looting run. Once we're actually 100% fully set up. There it is. Okay, um, let's get some meat off of it. Oh, I don't have a knife. Okay, we can come back for it. We know where it is. We got it, dude. Oh, 
Chris Smith with the super chat. I enjoyed the Resident Evil last night. I hope you continue. Uh, keep up all the brilliant streaming videos coming out. Hey, brother, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with that. I definitely had a lot of fun with that. Okay, so. Interact here. We're going to... I got to add firewood to it, which is fine. I have... Uh, we can go upstairs and get our axe. Oh, uh, I don't know why you can't use the machete to cut them up. Yeah... You just gotta, yeah, you have to use the knife. Okay, so we can combine all that. Drop that in there. We got these two animal skins. Got this water. Eat this. Okay, we should be good. All that stuff I kind of want. Um, we could drop these arrows in here. Okay, so I'm going to be, uh... I'm going to be getting the grill and the purifier going. But this one down here said f I need four logs. That seems like quite a bit. I need the axe. Yeah, I could have grabbed the firewood there, but I didn't. I, I that was before I made the decision that I wanted to come back. My inventory, I I wanted to go up to the town and loot, and if I had grabbed that firewood, I would have just filled my inventory up with something that I can literally just acquire here. And I have logs, so for me, there's no reason for me to grab already chopped firewood when I can literally just come back to base and chop it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I literally got it right here. So he's come, grab this. Go in here, and then we'll just chop it up. It only takes a couple minutes. Interact with this. We got the four firewood, and then we just need the bark, which I have right here. And we are good. So now we can purify water. Um, all this in. Whoops. I was supposed to fill that up. I wonder how much this holds. Keep for forgetting it. This. There it is. Okay. And then we'll hit this still. Boom. So now that baby is working. I'm going to come here and grab some more firewood because we're going to need it for our uh, furnace upstairs. Or our fire upstairs. Very misty out today. While well, that's doing its thing, I'll come up here and try to cook this meat before it goes bad. Okay, so our starter will be a match. Tinder will be that. Um, I won't use an accelerant. We'll just use that for fuel. Success rate, 60%. Um, I guess we could grab some of our gasoline. I don't know if you can use gas as an accelerant. We'll see. Oh, you can. All right, so it's 100%. There it is. Get that lit up. Boom. Now we're living the high life. MM, thank you for the super chat. Enjoying the content, brother. What MOS was? Um, so I was a uh, 0311. 
And then I, I joined the army. I was 11 Bravo, and I then became a nice, I got myself a nice Pogue job, and I was an 89 Bravo. Hey, super five, brother. So we're, we're we're living that good life now, guys. We got food cooking up on the grill. We got water being made outside. Hunger and thirst is not going to be a big deal. And yeah, the the charcoal now we'll have charcoal, which we'll store down here, and we can use that to make more matches. And we're good now. This is all we needed to kind of get over that hill. Yeah, only took several hours. <laughs> Okay, so the, the meat right now, it says it's medium. It's getting there. Oh, I'm also going to go butcher that pig. We'll hook us up a bit with more food. And then we'll also fill our water. I want to keep this uh, canister on me. That way we can just fill it up. There we go. That looks good. Well done. And I'll, I think I'll just literally let this burn out. Um, just so we can build up some charcoal. It's not a big deal. Matt, thank you so much for the super chat. From 111 Bravo to another. Thanks for serving, brother. Hey, I appreciate you, man. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. That is huge, brother. All right. So now we got this grill, grilled meat. Let's eat that up. Let me see. How much did that? Wow, that maxed out my hunger. Okay, so we only need to carry probably about one of these on us. That's a lot of food. I don't. The only problem is I don't think I have any. Yeah, we could store it though, right there. Keep one of these on me. And then we're gonna go from one eleven B to another. Thanks for serving, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some water now. Yeah, twenty seven liters in here. This it's not a whole lot because uh, this can hold. Oh, there it is. This can hold, I believe. Uh, CS yeah, seven hundred. And also leave my matches here. We don't we don't want our matches to get messed up. So if we see that car on our way, we'll we'll stop. Leave the matches here. We don't we don't want to mess around with that. And let's uh, drink a little. That did not do anything. We're going to chug the rail. All, all that water that we just cleaned. Yeah, drink all of it for sure. But that's enough water to keep us going um, for this trip. And that's all that matters. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to make some uh, some storage. We'll, we're gonna worry about that when we get back. Yeah, we'll mo the, we'll move the purifier. We could do that. I'm gonna grab this little bit of nine. This little nine. Oh, I can't grab it while it's uh. Oh no, I can't right here. Oh. Can't add to it while it's distilling. And we're also, like I said, we're gonna fill up. While we're out, yep, we're looking good. 
Now, the thing is, I don't understand why my health is still saying that I'm in trouble. But yet, I don't see anything wrong with me, so... Yeah, so we're using the white one for dirty water. Um, right now, that's what we're using to hold all of our dirty water to transport back and forth the base until we can get a... Uh... Oh, yep, here's that trader thing. We're also going to go up the road here and butcher that boar. Okay, yeah, so we got food poisoning. It's a small thing I can give you in return. Thanks. I don't know what that is. Let's see what he has for trade. Got a fishing lure. He's got some gloves and some batteries. Good luck, brother. Some planks back there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use this. Yeah, when I checked my status, though, it looked I, I looked good. Uh, the only thing I had was some food poison. Everything else looks good. But we don't have to worry about food uh, after that whole situation. What is So what is this? A use or unlock new structure building. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good today. Well, how is this burnt? Whatever. Okay, so we got food there. Um, get a little bit more meat off the head, but yeah, yeah, we'll get a little bit more meat off the head. Oh, you can use the machete, guys. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm dumb. You can use the machete to butcher the animals. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill this up again. And the rest of our inventory I'm going to use for drinks. Now you can also use the saw. Yeah, so there's plenty of different tools you can use to harvest animals. I just didn't click the damn button. Then you could probably use the lighter. That That's a possibility, Ezreal. We'll have to check that when we get back to see if you can click through where it says you need matches to see if you have another option. Wad from Columbia, how you doing today? It's just so confusing because the way the weather looks right now, it looks like the mist set in, but I, I don't see any infected, so. 
Hey, Jerry Rig. Hey, I'm glad my guys are helping out. Yeah, I know. I don't have a traditional, like, you know, I don't put out, like, traditional guides. My guides are kind of weird. Not for everybody. You know, I had somebody comment the other day that, you know, like, who the hell sits down and wants to watch a three-hour, like, episode for a guide? And, I mean, I get it. You know, guides and stuff like that are t intended to be, like, educational. But mine were more of, like, guided walkthroughs where some people, yeah, some people can sit there and watch a video. And, you know, kind of grasp what the person's saying in 10 minutes. But I feel like the way I do it, I drag it out. I, I, I really lay it out there for people to see a whole playthrough. That way, it's not just this scripted event. Like, oh, yeah, if you, in this perfect situation, I show you what can go wrong, you know, because it, my guys aren't perfect. You know what I mean? It, it, it never shit happens and shit can happen at any point in time. And that's kind of why I do the teaching uh, the way I do as stuff happens I explain okay this happened because of this this and this and this and I feel like at least to me I learn better from stuff like that compared to um, you know just a traditional you know black and white guide where in a perfect scenario I guess you could say those it's I, that's how I always look at it those are like those perfect scenario guides but nothing's ever a perfect scenario. And I think that's the that's the downside to like a lot of traditional guides is a guide could say, hey, if you're in this exact situation, you know, um, for instance, I've made some of the traditional guides, like teaching people how to fight ferals. You know what I mean? And I could say, hey, if you're in this exact situation and a feral comes at you, this is how, what you do. But then it's like, what if you're in a situation and a feral comes at you, but there's a juggernaut over here. And now, you okay, I just learned how to do this, but now I don't know. Or or there's a horde of zombies here. Or I don't have that specific item you told me to have. And now, now that whole entire strategy that you just taught that person is null and void. So a lot of the stuff that I try to teach is more generalized knowledge where it's like, hey, you know, this is what you need to get by. If you have this, then so be it. I don't know. That, that's the way I do it. I said, I know it doesn't work for everybody, but works for me. Very situa situational, yeah. I try to teach people a little bit more of the generalized uh, stuff that you can use in almost any situation. Yeah, and that's the thing about the exploits is there is a lot of exploits in State of Decay. Um, and the thing is, is, like, it's cool and all. Like, I don't have nothing against the exploits. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I always try to tell people, if you learn how to play a game and you're taking advantage of, you know, holes in the game, pretty much, that then... It's not a bad thing, but you're also not helping yourself in the long run. You know what I mean? You're 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 crippling yourself as a player because now you're building your play style around a bug that could be patched. Now, if for instance, people run away from ferals, they jump on top of cars. I see people do it all the time. There's no problem with it. Hey, do what you got to do. But the thing is, is if Undead Labs decides one day to make it so ferals can climb on top of cars. What do you do then? Now, for two years, you just played the game hiding from ferals on top of cars. That's the only way you know how to get away from ferals. That's, the, you know, standing on top of a car and, and shooting them. That, that's all you know. So now, once that patch goes through, you're, you're SOL. You're, you're absolutely screwed. And then you're also crippling yourself because now what if you're in a situation and there isn't a car around? You know what I mean? Now you have to... That's the only way you know how to play. So now what do you do? Oh, I don't have a car. You die. You know what I mean? Because you're so used to only playing one way. I like to have multiple tools in my toolbox. Like, like yeah, a hammer... You can get most things done with a hammer. You know what I mean? You, you, can, you can solve most problems with a hammer. But you tell me it's not... A hammer isn't the best tool in all situations. You know what I mean? Sometimes a screwdriver might be a little bit better. Uh, and that's how I, I like to have multiple tools in my toolbox as a player in any game I play.
There it is, spark plug, baby. Yeah, we're thirsty again, but now I don't have any water on me. Um, so I was hoping that we, when we get to the store up here, um, I could drink a couple of these drinks and we'll be good. But I promise if you take the extra time to sit there and learn how to kill a feral the right way, um, it'll only make you better as a player. You know what I mean? It's just... It, now, it, obviously, it's harder, and it takes a lot of practice. You know, I'm, this has obviously come from somebody... I, I got, like, 5,000-plus hours in State of Decay. You know what I mean? So... Uh, I know the game inside and out. I know exactly how the zombies and the ferals move, how they're going to react to me. And you know what I mean? So obviously it's easier for me to sit there and say, but um, yeah, I mean, just, just practice, guys. Just practice. And Blaze, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you, brother. Can't beef. Uh, you know what? Let me eat this right now. I asked this question the other day, um, and, and snap. And that, that's the thing is, I I understand people struggle with aiming on a controller. I I completely get it. If I played State of the Game with a controller, um, now if a controller was my main source of you know aiming, I might be a little bit okay. But I know it's rough for you guys playing with controllers. And snap aim is almost mandatory when dealing with ferals, which is is fine. But um. It's a, that's to me, it's, it's another crutch because uh, I've watched people who, you know, they use snap aim all the time. That That's like, like mainly what they do. Now, the thing is, is now you watch that same person start a fresh playthrough and they have characters that obviously aren't leveled up to the point where they have snap aim. They, they, can, they can barely play the game because they're so used to having snap aim and just aim snapping every single thing they see. That when you start a fresh game and you don't have those characters, you're SOL, you know what I mean? So that's why, I mean, I like to have multiple tools in my toolbox. I've already played and beat Dying Light 2 on the channel. Um, great game. Yeah, there's a, there's a playlist. Yo, why is it so damn dark? What time is it? Oh, it's 5 o'clock, guys. We might have to uh, nap out up here somewhere. It's been a super weird day. It's been dark and misty pretty much all day. There we go. So this is what we came out for. Um, we're trying to get ourselves some drink. I'm actually going to drop a little bit of this food because food is a little easier to get, honestly. And until I really get a nice stockpile of water, I want to have... Uh, some drinks as backup. And it is dark. Now, we seen one of the Seekers last episode. That thing was creepy as hell. Push comes to shove. I do have some weapons that we can fight with, so... use the lighter. Is there a button I'll use the lighter? Let's see. 
It's me. I'm drinking all that dirty water, Caspi. Do I have a drink right now? Of course, you guys. You know, I'm always rocking my uh, my gallon jug. Let me see. Flashlight is L. Maybe come and spend the night here. Oh, it's so dark. I can barely see. Doesn't even look like there's any beds or anything in here. We could sleep in that house, the very first house here. Door closed. Check upstairs, see if there's a bed or something. I think we could sleep on the floor if we need to, right? Uh, I think it was seven, right? Yep. Okay, so we got a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to eat. So the monsters come out, out at night every time. Yeah, that that's a guarantee. Damn, I'm sitting here. We're coming out here to loot drinks, and I'm sitting here drinking them all just to stay out. Sense does that make, right? Hoping we can loot a bunch more in the morning. So I'm going to try to sleep for 12. Wake up at 6 in the morning. We should be good. Okay, so we're hungry and thirsty. Yeah, we'll sleep for two more hours. Go. Try this again. Oh, I also had, the, I, yeah, 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 I meant to ask you guys this earlier. So I had a question, guys, because I'm one of them people, I think, honestly, everybody can always, every, everybody in the world, I don't care how good somebody is, everybody has room for improvement. Like, you know, LeBron James is one of the best basketball players ever. You know what I mean? But even there's parts of his game that could always be improved. And uh, I asked this question the other day on Guru's stream because... I've gotten to the point where I feel like I'm at a standstill with with a game like State of Decay. In your guys' opinion, if, if you could name my... Okay. Minus my driving. Okay, driving doesn't count. That's not a part of what we're talking about here. Um, if you could choose one part of my State of Decay, State of Decay game. All right, whether that's my shooting, my melee combat, um, whatever, whatever, like... What do you think I could improve on the most? Like, what do you think um, is, like, one of my... What do you think my weakest part of my game is in State of Decay? There. Okay. 
My camera should be good now. Yeah, in state of decay. <laughs> Priscilla, only weakness is your driving. <laughs> no, besides driving. Like, what is something you guys think I can improve on? Okay, now that we can see. No, my driving doesn't count. I'm saying, like, driving doesn't count. There we go. Drinks, baby. Crump says, uh, so what, managing um, community, like, morale and shit? Uh, different dodge. I notice you favor dodging backwards than have to push... Uh, Zeds into other Zeds. If you dodge into and past, then... So the only problem with dodging into and past zombies is, um, compared to dodging straight backwards, is you then have to turn around. Um, and I hate the backwards execution in that game. It's absolute dog shit. And it opens you up for attack. So that's why you see me favor the, the dodging backwards over, uh... Dodging through and around, but yeah, I, I do dodge through and around when I'm fighting like ferals and stuff, but I never really see the point of it when you're fighting normal zombies. Okay, so this is where the seekers were. No, 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 yeah. I, I, now I'm curious, though, on what you mean. So that now now I'm going to actually go and review some of my gameplay to see about my dodging habits. Starving right now. I just need to grab like a freaking Snickers or something. And shaking my mouse when, <laughs> when I'm in melee. I mean, that's probably un you know unappetizing for you guys to watch, unappealing for you guys to watch. But I don't think it negatively affects my gameplay. It's just kind of like a habit of like trying to scan. And mouse in hand, your hand just moves at all and it, it, and it shakes. There it is. We're going to eat that right now. See, if I were to, I, I, if I were to judge myself in my game for State of Decay, I would say my... I, I need to improve my shooting. I feel my shooting could be a lot better. Uh, my aim could be a lot better. I think that's probably my weakest my weakest game. I, and and I, I melee. I, I rely on melee so much that my shooting game is. Uh, oh, I could use these batteries, right? We can just use them right now. I think in our flashlight, I believe. So how does that work? How do you... Gears... Yeah, right there. Flashlight. Put the batteries in. Okay, so let me see here.
Well, learn to shoot with that. <laughs> uh, the way you shoot is weird to me, how you start down and then move up to shoot. So the my style of shooting, um, if I were to put it into words, Baltimore House, because it is a, it's a shooting style. Um, I'm, I'm a reactive shooter, so I, uh, I don't aim necessarily. Like, I don't, like, line up a shot and then shoot. I see something and I just I snap to it so I have a I, it's called flicking um and that is my aim style is I'm, I'm a very reactionary flick it I'm a flicker all right um where I just I just pop on target and that's why you'll see me miss a lot of times I do I do want to get away from that and kind of have like a happy medium of aiming and flicking because you'll the thing about the way I shoot is um when I'm on, I'm on. You know what I mean? I could I could hit 20, 30 headshots in a row, and it's a beautiful thing. But when I miss, I tend to get into a, a rut, and instead of, you know, I'll miss like five or six shots in a row uh, because of my shooting habits. So that's something I feel like I, I, I definitely need to work on. Yeah, this town is laggy, man. So the zombies in this game are only out at night or when the fog comes. But yeah, this just so you guys know, if you do come over to this old west town, um how the hell do you open the map? I forgot how to open the map. Oh, no, don't put that on. Don't put that on. Take it off. Um, it is it is a little laggy. Just so you guys know, but this is a new place. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, is that a police station? I have like no space in my inventory, and I I really want to get wanted to get a bunch of food and drink, but I'm like eating and drinking everything while we're out. Oh shit! There's a seeker right there. Oh fuck. Three shotgun shells into him, guys. Three. I uh, need to get good at playing with the controller. Screw that. Why would I do that? I just don't... I don't use controllers. Okay, revive cost. You lost the items. Oh, my. So I just lost all of that. Jan and Mike, thank you guys for the sub. Guys, that that's it's a big loss right there. Um, <laughs> itchy, itchy, Brian, tasty Neil. <laughs> Thank you so much. For <laughs> this knife is absolutely broken. <sighs> I, I'm I'm a little in my feelings right now, guys. So forgive me uh, while I uh, recoup. At least I got my spark plug. Oh, you can go pick it up? That's a thing? Uh, do I still have my water bottle? I still have my water bottle, which is good.
The good thing is now we're, we're, we're good on water, so I'm going to drink until enough. Uh, so the white jug, um, if you go on that main road, oh, this is so dumb. Guys, we lost both of our guns. If you go on the main road, there's a a couple of buildings there. Um, I found the white jug, I believe, in the second one. But now my white jug is gone. So, my machete's pretty damn broken. We're going to swap that. Oh. And then, um. Try to get these sticks here. We can make some more matches. We got food. We got water. All right. So, I, I, we're not in a terrible spot right now. Maybe we could try the other town for loot uh, instead of that one. So you guys were saying those seekers are invincible, like you can't kill them, period? Well, this lighter fluid, let me see here. Uh, we're going to go to gears, lighter, fill. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to go get my stuff back. The only thing I'm worried about though is going back over there with the seeker, you know what I mean? So back to using that. Keep the ammo on us for right now. We got our matches. I'll bring the spear. Uh, we'll keep a knife on us. But main source of damage, I guess we'll use the hatchet. I thought I had a bunch of sticks somewhere. It's uh, mistaken. So I believe to make matches, you needed charcoal and sticks. Yep. Right here. And you get 10 matches, too. That's that's not bad. Takes a long time, though. So it's noon right now. We just wasted quite a bit of daylight doing that. But we got matches. We're good. Um, so matches are starting fires is no longer an issue. Dave, how are you doing? It's hard, John. It's hard to get going, man. I love it. But, John, thank you for the sub, brother. All right. And now I think we needed a spark plug. I don't I don't remember. Let's see. I think we did, though, because I have a battery. Yep, spark plug. So now all we need is two tires, engine piece, and... We'll be good, guys. Two tires and an engine piece.
Bisu, thank you so much for the sub. Okay, got that. Hope this axe is a relatively decent weapon if we need to use it. Trying to get back over to my body though. It's gonna be a little, a little miserable. So we're gonna go ahead and this. So we got our starter, we got our tinder, we got our fuel, oh, no, no, it's fuel. Okay, let this meat cook up. Try Generation Zero for something different. So what is Generation Zero? I've heard a couple people talk about that. Engines at service stations. Like gas stations. We're gonna yeah. So my go uh Okay, me, still raw, so I'm gonna show you guys. How do you bring up the map? It's not G. I thought somebody said G. Okay, so they're both medium. I, I just need to be on point when they uh <laughs> when they go cooked. I, I our goal today, guys, uh, get a car up and running for sure. Should I risk going back for my body though? I, is it? I think it's. I think we need to. Okay, there we go. Got that. Um, we'll let that burn out, get us some more charcoal. You have to have a pencil to bring up the map? I thought you only needed a pencil to mark yourself on the map, because I brought up the map before without a pencil. I still don't remember what freaking button it was. A for map? There it is. So yeah. I want to hit this town today. I, I know I said I wanted to check these areas here, but we'll go back. We'll get our body and our gear. And then I want to hit that main town there. You see, are we good on hunger and thirst? We are. Let's go get our stuff back. And I want to thank everybody for 300 likes on the stream already. That's absolutely insane. Uh, hopefully we don't have a missed event while we're out here. Uh, I, I don't know. Is So is there a time limit on uh, on getting your body back? Yeah, right now we have no guns. We definitely lost our guns. Um, I could get a shotgun up here in this building.
But yeah, we're not taking any chances. TBR, how you doing today? Turbco. I'll have to look into this Generation Zero. So it's like a survival game, but instead of zombies, what? It's like robots? Like some Terminator type shit? Oh, not survival. Oh, I thought it was a survival game. So that's the road to the town that I want to go to. I The thing is, is I was thinking about getting the pickup truck, right, guys? Up and running. But now that I'm starting to think about it, I I much rather would have regular inventory just in the truck for our first vehicle. I feel like we'd benefit from that a little bit more, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of thinking about coming down here and fixing up this. the SUV uh, because the thing about the pickup is you have to like put storage in the pickup um, and right now that's uh, music man thank you so much for the, do super, uh, the dono man uh, this is just like outlaws of the old west yeah I've never heard of that game Yeah, trucks carry storage containers, whereas this will just have storage right off the bat. I already have a gas can, but I think another one won't hurt. I want to make sure I have space in my inventory. So I think we might come down and fix this bad boy up first. Keep the gas can in there. It's got fuel in it. Looks like it's going to rain. We haven't played Shadow of Mordor yet. No, I, I own the games. Uh, and we will be playing them eventually on the channel for sure. But I put the schedule out on Discord. I'll be dropping the schedule later on on YouTube also. I just got to be careful because when I post the schedule on YouTube, it counts as one of my notifications for the day, which is super annoying. And um, I'm only allowed three. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm gonna wait. I usually wait until the end of the day. That way I don't have to worry about uh, People not getting notified for my live streams Oh, yeah, we got we played the forest on the channel. There's a uh, There's a playlist on the channel if you guys are interested in checking me out play the forest. I'm looking forward to sons of the forest another tire there it is one of the pieces we needed for our vehicle Sure, we're 
good. Is this my stuff? Floating in the air? Side for a little bit. I don't know. Being in the rain isn't going to be. A, I don't think that's a good thing. So, grab these painkillers. Okay, so I, do, I got two tires on me, guys. We got two tires on us. All we now need is. Uh, yeah, we can get a car. We're definitely going to be able to get a car. We need the uh, engine parts and. What else was it? And the yeah, the engine parts and two tires. I think and that thing that was it. Uh, we maybe go scan that other town for the for some engine parts. And then voila, we will have a vehicle which will help our, our looting sessions. in the town see if we can find some engine parts I got a spark plug uh, we I mean we do have to go back to base and and grab the stuff that we already have out of the car there's a car spot down here check for an engine. There's a search here for engine parts. How to craft lockers. Hippo brother with the super chat. Enjoy watching me play this. I have a Daisy a lot. Then you play Daisy. Enjoy gets crazy. Yo.
What? So does that shield not block any damage? At least that's closer. Um, so does that shield not block any damage? Because that shit didn't do anything. At the moment, oh, 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 well that would, that, that would, it's only cosmetic. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Shield. Get out of my inventory, dude. I don't I don't want you anymore. Nope. Go away. You've lost permission to be a part of my my uh my playthrough. Was terrible. Shield is terrible. So does that go for all the shields in the game? Or just that shield? Uh, uh let me see. So what do we need to build lock? I didn't I didn't even see an option to build lockers um okay i'm in the furniture tab here i don't see anything Wait, it was there? Where? I got bed, 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 bed. Oh, the side little drop down menu here. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see it. There's a little tab here, guys. Okay, lockers. So. Actually, those aren't that bad to make. Anything else happen? Oh, so, yeah, there's a bunch of tabs. Look at this. Killing station, log carts. Oh, man, there's so much more shit. So you can build walls, spike traps, chicken coop, water feeder, fish pond, doghouse, bowl. Oh, look at that. You guys, there's so much more shit because I'm an idiot and didn't check the damn. You can build a fridge. Requires power, though. Okay, this is uh, this is looking good. Uh, so I might roll with the pickup truck. Uh, we got to go back though and get the other tire. cleared okay so yeah we just need the engine parts uh, i'm gonna get the gas actually i got gas here so that's not a huge deal so i'm gonna go ahead and empty all that in there and then we'll take this we'll take all the clean water out and i wonder if i can drink from this big jug can i drink from this yes awesome so I can drink from this big jug. We're in good shape.
Yeah, there's a very, very uh, Days Gone inspired type of ranger station for sure. Ah, uh, that's the starter base that they lived in. Oh, I got weapons on me. Never mind. Okay. So we didn't lose all of our weapons. I did lose all my ammo, though. And uh, our handgun again. But well, this truck should be able to be up and running if we can find an engine. So does the spear at least work, guys? Does the spear do something? Or is it made out of fucking cardboard? If it's a cardboard uh, spear, then let me know so I can <laughs> before I try to fight with it. The, it does look like the spear works. Okay, cool. I mean, the spear definitely does not look like it's the standard. Test it on a pig, but then then but then it's gone. Oh, you mean like poke a pig with it? I mean look at that. It's I mean it seems good. It seems good. I mean, it looks like the whole thing's made out of wood. You know what I mean? Like they carved it and then just painted the, the, the like they carved it into a shape, the shape of a spear, but it's not a legitimate spear. You know what I mean? Like, that's just a painted spearhead. Pretty sure that one zombie's still gonna be there, but just for s safety reasons, I'm just gonna sh oh, I don't have any ammo whatsoever. I thought the thing at least had one shot in it. Should have focused on getting a car before, but we were we were so stretched with just finding water and shit. There is that camp back there too. What happened now, motherfucker, dude? What happened now, dude? Huh? Alright. Higher.
Okay, engine parts. Um, seven six two rifle ammo beef. Need the engine parts. So I think we might have to. I think we might have to go into town. I'm not seeing any here. Hey, Michael, thank you so much for the sub. It's looking like a no-go on engine parts here so far. Scraps, scraps, another tire, but we're, we're good on the tires. We have all four. We could throw this one on the SUV, just even though I'm going to build up my other car first, we can still throw it on the SUV or throw it in the SUV. You know what I mean? Scraps, scraps, a lot of metal scrap here, which is awesome. We know where to come. that tire in there we'll bring this other tire back to base we're gonna come check this campsite really quick so we are about to head back into another town yeah dragon that's the plan but right now we're trying to get a car up and running and right i i don't have much inventory so the plan is to eventually loot everything, but we need to find this damn engine. Ah. The car actually had a decent amount of fuel in it. And drinks. Let me go ahead and uh, we're actually going to siphon this gas out. Okay. So we're going to come into this town here and we're going to scan and see if we can find another garage of some sort. Area kind of like we're in right now. Let's see if we can find... Uh, engine parts so we're playing this today and then we're gonna be finishing uh la noir tonight Clawhead? Yeah, we died to him earlier. We've died twice today so far. Um, the zombies. We got killed by one of the uh, Seekers. And then we just got our face beat in by a normal zombie. Yeah, we'll be, I think Resident Evil's on the schedule for Saturday. Um, it... Now, it's, it's getting pushed one extra day forward just because Spider-Man's coming out. And um, I wanted to play Spider-Man the day it came out, so. What 
town's looking. We don't have to worry about now. Oh shit! Wait, there's there's human enemies. I remember we, before we came here, and there was human enemies like literally patrolling, like walking around. Dummy indoors. A pickup truck over here. Yep, that looks like the scrap yard. Ooh, what is this? Extra filter for a mask. Oh, this has got that green smoke. I think, uh, I think you gotta put a gas mask on when you come into this, right? And then there. There, thing. That's it. There it is. Engine. It already overweight. Um. Damn it. How heavy is this damn thing? Shit, our mask. Dude, we're like cutting into that. Gotta change my filter. I just noticed, uh, like, we're like going super fast. Hold T to change filter. There we go. Damn it, man. So it's, it's getting late, too, guys. Let me see if we can eat the rest of this. So at least we we got another tire that oh we can't even run dude. We do have another tire that we can get to that's uh closer than here so we'll just drop the tire for now. I've never played Spider-Man before. No, this could be my first time. I'm actually pretty excited. Um, so it's 7 o'clock now. I'm wondering if we should... The only problem is in this town, a lot of these houses are going to be filled with zombies. So I think we might just... Shit. It's going to be sketch, guys. What time do the infected come out?
What do you mean now? Seriously? No, 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 guys. What well, seriously? What time do they come out? They, they come out at seven? Because it's only seven o'clock right now. Why can't we fucking walk faster, dude? Okay, I just need to make it to this cabin up here. As long as I'm going the right way, I think there was a cabin up here. There it is. There it is. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna camp out here for the night. And then in the morning, we'll uh, head back to base. We'll drop off the engine. Um, we'll have to literally skedat back over here. Grab the tire. And then, boom, we'll have our truck up and running. bed. I mean, if we gotta sleep on the floor, we can sleep on the floor. It's all good. I'm just worried about the infected coming up to the building. Um, oh, let me drink really quick. Ha! Good, good shit, good shit. Slept through the night, no problem. It's awesome. Let's eat. <laughs> um, do you think of playing any scum? So we played scum uh, the other day. And uh, I had a blast, guys. Uh, I think it's an amazing su survival game. I think after, you know, we're done putting some time into this, that we can maybe uh, play some more Scum. Like, we'll replace this game with Scum, because Scum is... It's a pretty in-depth survival game, guys. Um, I, I, I would say, I don't know, like, how many of you guys would say that Scum's, like... Oh, I, w I personally would say it's better than this game. Uh... But this game is also being developed by, like, one guy. Yeah, we, we played Daisy. We even played Daisy the other day on, uh, on stream. Yeah, save. I keep forgetting you gotta save in this game. We got this, guys. We got this. We just...
Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with uh, with with Scum. Uh, definitely made it one of the survival games I want to play because, like, that game is crazy in depth. Like, crazy in depth. Uh, you know, like it has like a full blown hunting system in it, fishing. Um, you know, the cars, like, it, it has everything. C the crafting. Is State of Decay my favorite survival game? Um, yeah, I, w I would say it, 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 at the moment, yeah. King Spleen asking, what is my setup? Um. Uh, Caspi will probably post it here in a moment. Um, he'll post my exact computer I have. Uh, I, now, st I would say it's between Project Zomboid and State of Decay. For sure. But from what we experienced from Scum the other day, guys. Man. Like, for all my Project Zomboid players. We always talk about, oh my god. Zomboid would be amazing if we had... Um, Caspi just po posted it right there. Right under you, uh, King's Plane. Um, Zomboid would be amazing if we had... Yeah, the slow walk is killing me. We're, we're overweight, so we can't run. Um, if it had better graphics. Or not even better graphics, but like 3D regular normal graphics that you see in a video game. And Scum, so far from what we've played, it's like legitimately, guys, when it comes to detail and depth... I would say it's legitimately a um, 3D <laughs> fucking Project Zomboid. Fill the tank. Okay, and then... So we're going to be headed back out to get the tire, and our car is going to be good. We're finally going to have a working vehicle. Yeah, the day before looked like a cool game, but it's... I don't know. They, there's, there's a lot of uh, sketchiness with that game at the moment. Yeah, so I'm going to be... Uh, when I play Scum uh, next time, I already learned how to edit the INI files for loot. And more zombies. So when I play, I'm going to be, you know, probably double or tripling the loot because it was like nothing, guys. It was actually pretty. That was like the one thing I was like, man, there's like nothing to loot in this game. It's it's really bad feeling. And um, there wasn't a whole lot of zombies. So we're going to be increasing the amount of zombies in the game. And we're going to be increasing the amount of loot in the game. And then uh, I'll let you guys judge and tell me what you think. But we need more storage, so... Let's go get this tire really quick. We'll come back and then we're gonna build lockers and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit the ground running with loot. And then eventually I will try scum online. That's the one thing about scum too, is you can play it with friends. Um online and there's there's legit PvP. It's kinda like it's just like Daisy. Zach, how are you doing today? No, no, no! I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the stuff in the pickup truck, uh, and then I'm gonna build a bunch of lockers for the pickup truck. Now that I know how easy it is, we have all the components we need to build lockers right now, so we're just gonna do that. This game, this game here is a lot of fun. I I'm really enjoying it. The thing I've noticed, though, it is very easy to avoid the infected. Like, you can almost play the game as long as you're m managing. Like, we got pretty close uh, last time because, you know, obviously I pushed it. But um, it's kind of like, you know, that I am legend feel. You can completely ignore the zombies as long as you're uh, watching your time.
Not for much longer, Caspi. Our walking days are going to be a thing of the past. Uh, I'm going to be building uh, probably like two or three lockers for the truck. And then I want to build another about two or three lockers for the base. Um, and while we're down here getting this tire, I have some extra inventory. We're, we're going to loot up some extra components and metal and shit. That car, hey, I'm going to show you guys. My driving is way better. Like, we're going to be driving this car, like, super good. Yeah. I'm also uh, going to be siphoning any gas, up, extra gas we can find. All the gas out of this uh, this place here. Let's see, does this one have any? Nope. But it does have our tire. It's mainly what we came for, and then we're gonna be grabbing uh, components and scrap metal. This place is full of it. Booze is for. Uh, I'm finding some bottles of booze. Oh, you use the booze for Molotovs? Oh, I got it. Hey, that's another thing. Make sure you get your gas can back. I, I did this <laughs> so many times. Want to make sure when we, uh, when we go to drive, we have enough fuel to really get around. So why I'm grabbing components. Uh, we're going to need a ton of them for crafting these lockers. George, thank you so much for the super chat. How you doing today, brother? Who's pumped for Spider-Man Friday? I am. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Meat we can easily get back. See, I could save another inventory to slot too by doing that. So let me grab my meat back really quick. Well, thank you for the super chat, brother. I'm hoping the Spider-Man game's as good as you all are making it out to be. Cause I, I mean, you guys have been pumping this game up pretty big. Again, we're overweight. Okay. Now we're completely overweight. Did I leave my gas can again? I did. Damn it. Where, where do we leave it? Okay, so we are kind of overweight. Um, all 
Uh, we're gonna have to hold off. Fine. You know what? We'll store up some of this stuff. That way you can just we'll come back for it in the truck. Um that way I uh I don't have to worry about walking super slow. So I want to get back to base. It's fine. We're going to come back down once we get all this stuff established. It'll be a little bit easier for us to move around and, and loot and do shit like that once we have the car. We're going to get back. We're going to craft up like two lockers, two or three, as many lockers as we can. Put them in a, the truck and uh, go from there. Another game that we played the other day that uh, I didn't expect to like as much as I did, uh, just due to the fact that I played it, the, I played the first one for about 15 minutes and hated it back when it first came out. Um, the Division. Uh, we played The Division uh, 2 the other day on stream, and oh my god, guys, that shit was dope. Uh, Phil says, don't waste the scrap, find the lockers. Well, I doubled up the loot on the map, Phil, by accidentally by hitting this button. Uh, so right now, the amount of scrap in the game is not my main worry. I just want to be able to loot right away, you know what I mean? I don't want to have to walk around and try to find... I mean, we can, but I don't even know where to look. So I feel like starting off with at least maybe one or two lockers isn't that big of a deal, you know what I mean? If I, especially if I have to craft them. Yeah, so maybe we'll maybe we'll craft two lockers, and then the ones for the base, maybe we'll uh, we'll loot those. Caspi, listen, brother. You won't play the division with me, man. You're the one that doesn't have the the game system I have. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make our rounds. We're gonna make our rounds. Uh, you can drop stuff. On Car trunks of uh, undrivable cars are not secured in this patch. Okay, so I'm going to make sure we don't log out then, Aaron. That's good to know. Uh, you can drop stuff on the ground and it won't vanish. I mean, you're right, Casper. I do, I do indeed have the game system you have, but it's just, it's not my style, man. You, you know, I, I just can't do the... I just can't do the, the controllers, dude. It, it, it it's literally kills me. All right, so we'll put that in there. Fill the tank. Okay, we'll take that back out. We're going to have to do... Uh, we're going to have to get some more water. See, like, right now, I need to definitely make at least one locker because I just don't have enough storage to even empty my inventory right now.
Okay, so let's see here. Lockers require... Some planks. So how, how do you... How do you get the planks? Here we go. Logs with the saw. Okay. Got it. We could do that. No problem. Caspi, why couldn't you pick a non-shooting game, brother? Like, if it was like Assassin's Creed or something like that. Oh, man. We would have been, been golden. Whoa, what the hell did I just... How did I pick that up? Fuck out of here, dude. Don't do this. Why is there a bear at my base? There it is. <laughs> Bitch! Ah. Hey, that's what happens, bro. That's what happens, bro. We got this shit, guys. And you guys thought I was worried? We gotta, we gotta chop some wood. I need an axe. Oh, no, no, no. We got some wood over there that's already chopped. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Now we got a bear that's down in base, guys. We got food for days. Legit. Food for days. Okay, let's go ahead and... Cut some wood. Goth, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. And DZ, I, I didn't see that earlier. Thank you for the sub. Okay, we got some wood. We got some components. We got some stuff. Let's get some lockers done. Okay, base. Yeah, furniture. Lockers. Red lockers? Wait, what, there's a difference between the two? What's the difference? Please tell me. <laughs> Missed the bet. Oh, it's red. <laughs> it just it'll just match the vehicle. Okay, I thought there was like a like a something wrong with the ones I was building. All right. Uh we are dehydrated. Well, now that we so I do plan on getting another car too, but now now that we have the truck um we can go ahead and meat in here that I can eat. But I had a couple extra pieces. But now yeah, now that we got the truck and we can carry loot, 
we'll be able to, uh, we'll really be able to just go ham on, uh, on loot and shit and all that. We get two cars. We just haven't had the ability to really move around all that freely. Rest for two hours. Evelyn, thank you so much for the sub. Let's get this stuff squared away here. So I'm going to take this. I want to move it. Right there. Grab this, baby. We got the two lockers in the back of the truck. And I'm going to build one more locker upstairs for right now. I, I, and we're going to loot all the other lockers, guys. But I need to get one so I can empty my inventory. But now we got two lockers in the back of the truck for, for loot. And while we're out and about, we can also loot up some more if we need. Grab that and some components. Build up a few more lockers right here. How was the locker? Oh, there it is. Too far away. Had to look down. How's the door? Oh, I see it. I'm like, where the, what side's the door on? Not that it really matters, but, you know, OCD and all that. Cool. Okay, so now I can empty out my inventory. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to take some time and reorganize. I got some 9mm. We're going to bring that. This and this away. Where is my handgun? Hmm. Do I not have a handgun anymore? And while we're out and about, like I said, I want to try to find at least two more lockers, maybe. We're going to carve up this bear when we get back, also. Now that we got more storage, we're just going to pretty much pick up everything that's not nailed down. you do it don't you fuck no no no
I was about to fucking be so mad, dude. You don't even know, guys. You don't even know. And it made the little ratchety sound. It was just, it was, it was just trolling me bad. Pivot! Pivot! Okay. That's all set. We got that. We got that. Um... I said pivot in chat and nobody knows there's people that don't know what pivot means should have probably clarified if, if people don't know Ooh. I feel like everybody should know what pivot is though right all right so we're gonna go ahead Man, why do I feel like my hunger and thirst uh, we're, we're, we're passing time quite a bit, actually, with uh, the build on the lockers. Who does? Okay, uh, uh, that, that's, hope, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping I, was, uh, I wasn't being too cryptic on my uh, a slang there. So we're going to go ahead. We'll throw this in here. I wanna, we're going to cook up a bunch of this bear, like, right now. Um... So we got that. You know what? For for meat purposes. For meat purposes only. That was my saw. I'm going to craft up another locker because I need to store all this meat once we cut up this bear. Yeah, I mean, I would dry. I should probably try to do some of the drying. Uh, how much salt do I have? I do got a, quite a bit of salt, so. It's already getting dark, dude. What the hell? Um, I'm not going to be able to harvest the bear tonight. There's no way. Yeah, I got a drying rack outside. So I can come here, we can do this. I need a knife. You're telling me I don't have a knife? I had like 30 of them, dude. Okay, oh wait, is that one of the things I can use a... Not, you, you just need a knife. Oh, 
Oh, maybe there's one stabbed or in something over here, but it's fine. We'll get we'll get one in the morning. Yeah, my both of those knives on the floor are broken. There's zero percent, and I don't think you can. Can you still use them if there's zero percent? I Maybe mean, we could try. I don't think it's gonna work though. Oh shit! You can use it even when it's zero percent. Or maybe not. I think the yeah, I think the knife is like broke, broke now. Yeah, it's broke, broke. Um, so when it break breaks, it goes away like completely goes. Oh no, we just ran out of meat. No, yeah, we're good. But where did, did the knife go? I think it did break, break though. Go, got this. Do the same thing. Dry more of this. Yeah, the knife broke. So we're going to hang this up in the morning to dry. One of the things we're going to have to do, though, we're going to get more water. So let's sleep. Ten hours. Demo Demo with the nine months. Thank you so much. Why does why does that happen sometimes? You just wake up. I think you can only get a certain amount of hours to sleep in a bed or something. It just auto wakes you up. That did not. Whoop. Let's say that did really nothing to our hunger. Woke up because I needed food. Go dry this meat. Demo, Demo, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate you. Uh, we're going to dry all this. All right, now, hmm, I think, where do we want to go first? I'm thinking about hitting some locations we really haven't been yet. So we're going to drive up here and then we'll drive down the road and I want to check out this little intersection area holy shit yeah that just kind of turned on me there We'll check the, the tower at later on. Oh, wow. We had a freaking uh, 
vehicle place right near our base, too. Shit. Are those, those are bad guys. Damn it. Okay, so that there's uh, enemy NPCs right there. Um, we have to change our plans. So yeah, this whole area is locked down by NPCs right now. So maybe we'll head back into the normal town. The brakes don't stop you instantly. Okay. So we're in town. Um, I'm going to start looting. The components will be good. Pretty much, at this point, we can grab almost anything with the amount of storage we have. I wonder what these empty bottles are used for. Should have brought my freaking nine millimeter ammo. Does anybody in chat know if my wife is streaming? I hear her talking and I need to ask her a question. Kid Nixon, thank you so much, brother, for the membership. I really appreciate that. Welcome to the family. Oh, we got a farmhouse down there, too. Did we not check the glove box of this? I oh, okay, I did. Oh, she's not streaming? Okay. Grab a pair of scissors, water. Oh my god, getting matches was this easy, guys? Felt like rocket science. Get our hands on some uh, ammo so we can eventually push those NPCs will be super important. Would love to be able to press them because it looked like there was a bunch of military loot around where they were. Getting a lot of frame drags in this town, though. Oh, I appreciate you, Casper. Got a fishing lure. Oh, I 
Nice. Got all types of ammo in there. Go fill up the trunk. See how much easier it is, guys, when you uh when you have real storage to, to do some looting. I mean we filled up those lockers pretty quick. Not on thank you for the sub. Yeah, we've we've had clothes on. Um, if you're any so Um Oh, that that sounds pretty interesting. So you can stealth kill in this game with a with a knife? house down a little bit of gas there we should have brought a freaking fuel can man to start siphoning it was dumb on my end okay so that house is full of the green uh, toxic smoke we gotta be careful Concrete blocks and logs. The logs, I'm not worried about. These blocks could eventually use for crafting. Damn, this house was full of smoke, too. And zombies. Ronald Lane, thank you for the sub or the, the membership. Welcome to the family. Oh, I, that's got really. Yeah, this is a survival game. Some extra clothes here. Oh. We even we got some more revolver ammo in the truck too. Can't grab those batteries. So 
this is working out pretty decent. We're getting um We're getting a decent amount of ammo right now. When I'm gonna play DayZ, um, I don't know. I I know I'm gonna play. We're gonna play Scum before we play DayZ. Like, I I prefer Scum over DayZ at the moment. Like in my personal opinion, I think it's just better. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna definitely be playing uh Scum before you ever see me play DayZ on the channel. Okay, let me see if we can find some maybe some more lockers. Cause uh, we're already running out of storage. Brand new to your content. Keep it up, Brian. Hope you get some zombie action soon. Yo, John, thank you so much, bro. I really do appreciate that, man. Oh, 20 freaking matches, dude. That's crazy. So we want to loot this house here. It sounds like there's zombies inside. But, John, thank you for the super chat, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> what is this? Military box? Component box? Tip for our ammo. <laughs> that didn't last very long. If you thank you so much for the sub. I think we might have got them all though. Cosby, thank you for the sub. Ah, 50, 50 cal. What? There's a 50 cal in this game? Uh, can you check? This should be okay. I don't know, though. I'm going to just drink this right now. Uh, 50 candles for the Seekers. Uh, my daughter, she is three. Got a lot of kids, guys. There's Max. We could eat this potato, actually. We're a little hungry. Sebastian, how you doing? Oh my god, there's so many matches. 
Carlos, thank you for the sub. I, I can't believe I ever thought matches were hard to get. I mean, matches were, were they felt hard to get for me, but. Moist, how you doing? There it is. Got a damn M4. See if there's a locker or something in here that we could use. I don't recall seeing a locker. Maybe upstairs. Now, there was a crate. I know somebody said to use the crate. I don't remember how much storage that... Oh. That on now. Raw potatoes give you poisoning? Really? Are you kidding me, dude? Well, right now we don't have anything, but... That's... We got antibiotics if I need them. But that's kind of unfortunate. Stack this ammo in here. Oops, wrong one. So that's a revolver. So we're up to 11 shotgun, rifle ammo, 14. Got the 50 cal ammo in there. Stack those. Back that. Back the matches. Trying to make the most of my inventory here. So I'm going to grab this rifle ammo. We're going to load that into the... Uh, said rifle and then keep this on us okay, so we're doing okay on shoddy um revolver three rounds This is this is true price. Get some more ammo for this baby. We can take on those humans no problem. Okay, so generally, uh, where can you find lockers?
in my head, I thought this would, like, lockers would just be everywhere, you know what I mean? I don't remember, so where was that, does anybody remember where that crate was? Because I, I don't. Probably just gonna craft some lockers when we get back at this point. I actually make some right now if we had, uh, there was some logs back here. I, I need, I would need an axe, but I think there might actually be an axe next to it too. Never mind, don't even need to do that. Could go in and clear out this location. Yeah, there's an axe right there. There, hold on. Let me set this up. So we're going to go ahead and... I mean, I think I can access these from the ground, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can access it from the ground, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, so wood scrap is a bit different than normal wood. Okay, I see what's going on. And I don't have enough to make a thing, but that's fine. We can just drop this crap in here now. We just open up the world to a bunch more loot for our inventory. Now, I, I think I might hit this uh, this location right here. You know, gas mask on just come in this damn place. Oh, yeah, the container was behind the counter. Now I remember where it was, where we got the magnum. We're at 13% in our filter, so we got to be quick. Nine percent. Barracuda game thing for the sub. All right, so the crate was back here, right? How much does this hold? It holds a decent amount. Come on, come on. There it is. Come on.
Rikus, thank you for the sub. So we'll take this. Slap this bad boy. God. Damn it. Hit the wrong button. I mean, I hit the right button, but the wrong button. It said to place, to click, but then when I placed, clicked, it shot. <laughs> that scared the actual shit out of me, just so you guys know. So we're going to drive around the corner really quick. Now, there was a police station um, in that town that had the Seekers in it. Okay, human enemies up there. Yo, I wish there was a... Yo, is there a sniper rifle in this game? Because that would be actual clutch. There is a hunting rifle. Well, I need to get that. I think we might have a mist event coming in. I got an ago a go nerd a go nerd thank you so much for the the sub I appreciate it my my brain stopped working there man I just the dyslexia kicks in I'm telling you guys can't read okay, scoping out this area real quick see if there's anything in here but it looks like we might have mist rolling in Yeah, definitely missed the vent coming in. I should try to take that camp first. That one looks smaller than the other camp. You know what I mean? What time is it? Yeah, I got the M4. Yeah, we got an M4 out of the trunk. I got some bullets in that. But having a sniper rifle, man, that would be, in my opinion, so clutch. Got to do some long-range shooting. I think I drove past my... Yeah, drove past it. When was my last save? Right now. Shit, you can't save right now. We got infected. I never diced up that damn bear, did I? Probably bad by now.
Todd, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, we don't want to kill our battery, so make sure we turn those off. Let me see. What is this bear like? Yeah, it's almost bad. Um, shit. Well, I can't chop him up right now. I can have a zombie run up on me, so we're going to pass time. I'll come out and butcher up the bear, but I want to... Actually, instead of passing time, I'm going to craft some lockers. So I'm gonna build some uh I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I should I'm gonna build some lockers down below. And the reason for that is once I eventually take some time and organize my loot, I just wanna be able to come back, drop loot into my locker down low here, and then take back off instead of having to run up and down the stairs shuttling the shit. So we'll save right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build some lockers. Got food poisoning. Um, where the hell did it go? I used it for treatment, but it still says it's self healing. Yeah, I gotta make sure I come to that screen instead. Because just clicking treatment doesn't seem... Unless it's in my inventory, but I don't... Nope. Okay, so we'll come here. We're gonna go with status. Click on this. Antibiotics. I still need two more wood. As you guys can see, man, we need we need a lot of lockers. We need a lot of lockers. I, I don't even have enough space to hold the stuff that we just looted. go grab an axe and get some more wood
Yeah, cut up the bear. Let's see. The problem is I don't think... Uh, no, I have a machete. I got my machete. We're good. The only problem is it's going to probably break the rest of my machete doing this. Good amount of meat right there. It's going to take two hours. It is going bad fairly quick here. Uh, I'm going to salt a bunch of it. Let's see. Try to salt as much of it as we can. Let's see if we have any more salt down here. No. Yeah, so we got a quite a bit of uh, salt. I don't know if we have enough, but we got a decent amount. See, do we have any more before I start this? Nope. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna drink this. <sighs> Go ahead. Salt. Much of the no. Yeah. yeah. Need a fucking knife. God darn it! Can't you craft a knife? Yeah. Takes an hour, but wow, that's wicked not even worth it. That's so expensive, dude. I mean, I need it, but... I don't know if I want to spend that many resources when we could. I, I, I don't remember. I, we could probably go back down to the scrapyard. Uh, pretty sure there's probably one down there. So for right now, let's throw all this in there. So yeah, ammo I will just keep in the truck because we can just stack that at, while we're looting. Save Magnum for Seekers. Yeah, we got the... Well, we got the M4 also. Just trying, now I'm going to try to see... I'm trying to just get all my ammo together. Now we're going to put that in the truck. I think the... Uh, we got some more pistol right here. Yeah, it's not like we're super balling out of control when it comes to weapons, but we're doing okay. Druid with the super chat. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. All right, yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reorganizing my storage. Shit is everywhere. I like to have it, you know, food here, this there, that there, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna get it all organized uh, eventually. But right now, I'm just trying to get this shit done. And then that's 762. Or 9 mil. Shoddy. Keep on us. It's a 
crappy thing, guys. We just need more storage. Like, I feel like you can, you're can. you never going to have enough storage in this damn game. Never going to have enough storage. Yeah, we have a bow. Um, that I'm going to probably start really going ham on using. I mean, honestly, I should be focusing on using the bow and arrow because bullets are pretty pretty hard to come by. Um, would you guys say the bow is pretty effective against human enemies too? George Vans, welcome to the channel. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You can drop that for right now. One headshot? That's not bad. Alright. So we make sure we keep this on us now. Uh I'm going to swap that machete out for the baseball bat. Keep this axe on us because I'm about to cut some wood. We could bring the um, the bow. i got to figure out how to craft these arrows, though. I, I got a... Let's see. I got a quiver, I believe. Yeah, so we got six arrows. Let me see. What does it take to craft arrows? Feathers? How the hell do you even get feathers? And arrowheads. Oh, we got a schedule out. It's on Discord. I just haven't posted it on uh, YouTube yet. Yeah, we got a schedule for uh, for the week. Still got a little bit of daylight. Um, we'll go chop down a tree. see what the fuck was that tried guys I, I i stayed on the ground didn't matter as soon as i stood up he, he murked my ass Yeah, I mean, we can go back outside and get our, our stuff back.
Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the clipping. But well, the clipping was from. Uh, I was like laying on the ground, so you guys were like seeing like the laying on the ground perspective. Uh, but then the second I pressed spacebar to stand up, because the bear wasn't really, he was chilling. It seemed like he was chilling, and then, yeah, then he killed my ass. There it is. I was like, yo, where the hell is my shotgun? I'm gonna have to kill this bear. Hey guys, I'm not seeing the loot. Gone. Damn, gone. All because I wanted to go out and chop a tree in the in the dark. I try to hop this fence, it would be over here somewhere. <sighs> you got wrecked. Did I lose all my shotgun shells, too? I mean, I could reload my save, but... Nah, it's fine, guys. If I reload my save, that just takes away all the, uh... The penalty, you know what I mean? If I'm just like, oh, I messed up, and then just like reload to save. But we are going to cut a bunch of this, though. Ooh, missed event. It's over. Okay, so we cut all that wood. Uh, this. I think I lost my gas can too. Lost quite a bit in that uh, little endeavor there. Now, if I cook meat that's like 5% durability, um, does it get its durability like back or is it, is it stuck at like five?
So I got this meat in here. I have to cook, like, right now. Yeah, that shit's, like, literally about to go bad. Try to cook this right now before it disappears. I don't have a knife. That's why we can't dry the meat. Let's see if uh, cooking it does anything. How do you make a stew? Yeah, you can build walls, you can build fences, all that stuff. We lost a lot getting mauled by a damn bear, guys. That was rough. Yeah, I got the cooking pot aside. I mean, what other ingredients do you need for the uh, for the stew? Medium. Yeah, the doesn't keep it. It stays really bad durability. That shit burns so fast. Lost my water jug. Yeah, we're living pretty rough at the moment, guys. Um, like, like pretty rough. Nothing's really going that well for us. I mean, I'm 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 thinking on with a restart, but I don't know. I feel like like I did get glitched into the ground. Um, I don't know. Hold on. How about this? How about this? The be fair, we'll pull it. All right. I mean, the, the the reload, guys, is only, like, before we got to base. It's not like we got to go back that far.
All right. Well, so how, how do you reload? I demand. Thank you so much for the seven months. That is huge. Yeah, I mean, the, well, the only reason why I even thought about reloading was because it was uh, obviously it was a glitch that I got stuck in the ground. All right, so we are back. Yeah, so this is before I, uh... Ooh. Yeah, this is right when we got back to base. Okay, we're good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, craft up those lockers again. So we're going to take a couple, an extra minute or two, guys, to kind of organize this time around. The bear is gone, though, on the reload. But it's fine. We can go out and do some hunting. I want to know why the hell there's these bears are near my base all of a sudden. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reorganize our 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 locker a little bit, our lockers. That way, I can have a, uh, a better understanding of what we have and what we need. I want I want to make sure everything's a little more organized. I know it's probably not the funnest thing to watch me sit here and organize my containers, but I feel it's very very necessary. If I was making a video, it's obvious. If this was like a video like no other people do, obviously I'd probably just cut that part out. But because we are live streaming, it is what it is. You guys have to bear with me while I uh, try to organize. Okay, we should be good with that. Uh, we're going to go chop down this tree. If anything, we're going to have to build some walls at some point, too. But, now, the good thing is we actually got a decent amount of uh, trees in our area, so... Wood's not that hard to come by.
Now we know that this is bear country, we definitely want to be a little more uh, vigilant. I gotta get a saw. Uh, ran into any bad bugs? I wouldn't say anything like super crazy. I mean, we glitched into the ground uh, when a bear literally like hungry, hungry hippo us in the head, just straight boom. I thought the tree fell on my head. I, I honestly did not know what ha the hell happened, guys. But yeah, we got we got wrecked. Okay, so I can go ahead and do this. Pretty shitty weather out. And I thank you so much. I really do appreciate the super chat. 75k by the end of the year? I don't know. Maybe. We might be able to do 75k by the end of the year. It all depends on how much love everybody shows. It's a lot. Oh, uh, you can chop stumps, too? I did not know that. Okay, so we're eating, drinking. Get these back out. Build a couple more lockers. out hit the bed yo do we got some batteries in the truck yep right here I was like dude I feel like I had a lot of batteries it's really I think for the sub Um, drink. Should probably cure this damn uh, stomach thing with some antibiotics. It's probably messing me up. Then we'll try to sleep it off. Good. 
good enough. I can't wait to frickin' reorganize it. Shit, it's terrible. We got, like, no food. I'm gonna I'm gonna be organizing here in a sec, guys. I just gotta I gotta get the lockers built. Once all the lockers are built, then uh, we're gonna organize everything nice, nice. Starting with food, water, because uh, tracking how how much food we have is definitely gonna be important. We'll have lockers for weapons, ammo, things like that. That's that's the goal. But we're going to have to go hunting, too. We're going to have to go try to get ourselves some boar. Now relocate your base. Go to trans... I'll, I'll probably move around my base at some point. Right now, I'm comfortable where I am. Just because I don't know the map all that well. And it just is what it is. But yeah, eventually we'll move. Now that we got the car, though, it's not a huge deal having to travel a little bit. I, I, it doesn't really bother me all that much. Uh, we'll build one more down here. Okay. And then I'm going to build more upstairs. So... Also, yeah, we can hunt for a bear if we see one. A lot of meat there. Okay, so we'll do a few more lockers here. We were in the we were in the the town, man. I didn't find a single locker, bro. We found a crate. That was it. But we're doing okay right now. I think the amount of resources we got, we're doing okay. We got, we got storage for days. Storage is no longer an issue. All right. So I'm going to start off this big filing cabinet over here. It has the most storage space. So I'm going to use this one here for food. Okay. Food and uh, drink. Just getting my inventory emptied up really quick so I can uh, organize. We need some food, man. Organization is happening right now, dude. It's going down. I mean, I I thought my stuff. I personally thought my stuff was pretty organized. I think you guys are just. Uh, you guys are harping. Harping a little bit. It was good. Like, be honest. It, it was it was kind of organized, right? I had a system. I knew where everything was. Once I clicked through the lockers five or six times. And that's, that's all that matters when it comes to organization, right? As, as long as... You know where it is. It's good. All the meat is gone. Yeah, this was, I believe, before the meat situation. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. 
Okay. So now this is all empty for food and water. Well, we'll just bring the gas can down, down low. See, like, you know, realistically, I when I played games like, you know, Minecraft and shit, I wasn't like the label my uh, label my crates kind of guy. How many of you guys, if you were a label my crates type of guy or gal, put a one in the chat in a game like Minecraft. Like, even if you didn't play Minecraft, I just mean like, you know what I mean, like that type of uh, organization. Damn, that's a lot. That's a lot of ones in the chat. We got some zeros though. We got some. We got some team, Brian. <laughs> All right. So food and drink. Let's grab everything edible and drinkable. Uh, salt will count for crafting, kind of. Food and drink. Drink. drink um so you can't eat sugar it's crafting damn that's all we got guys grandma thank you so much for the sub okay so i thought we were doing a little bit better than we are when it comes to food and drink so we'll have food here. We'll have drinks here for now. Okay, so I mean, it could have been better. You know, our situation could be better, but. Okay. Um, we'll do weapons and tools. Downstairs. Yeah. Let's grab all my tools, weapons, and ammo. These I can turn into spears, so we'll count those. Got a lot of extra lockers down here, so we can do tools, weapons, and ammo here for sure. And uh, when you do this type of stuff, it really puts it into perspective which, what you got. So, do these uh, first ones here. So, we'll do tools in here. Machete, I guess I'll consider a tool. I'm, I'm not going to waste that on... Uh, do melee weapons. We'll do... Guns and ammo. Okay. So weapons and ammo. Uh, we're, we're gonna need more lockers. And here we'll do crafting components. So, like metal, any any metal scrap and components, we're gonna put in that last locker there for now. And the reason why I want to keep these downstairs is so we can just make more lockers. Cool. 
man, we actually have quite a few of these. There it is. See, guys, we're not doing bad. Even though I'm about to spend more of them making uh, some more lockers. I'm grabbing the wood out, too, because I'm going to... That's it. Actually, we're not doing that well. We're going to have to make some... Because uh... I, I didn't think of, about... When we split up our guns and shit, I didn't think about... You know, them taking up this many lockers with just like that type of stuff, but we're not doing bad with components and metal scrap. Bill Greenlee, what is going on, brother? How you doing? I was in 03, 11. And then I was uh, 11 Bravo in the army, too. I know I should have I should have picked a better MOS. It would have treated me a little bit better in the in the world. Okay, so we got that, and then upstairs we'll do more uh, just regular crafting components. Let me get all this crap out of here. Okay, so I think everything is empty. Yep. So everything's empty on the truck. But Phil, I appreciate the super chat, brother. Um Yeah, that was it's good. Uh I'm gonna drop this wood down really Oh, you know what? Let's let's build the locker right now. Let's build the locker right now. While we have this stuff right here. Calvert. With the five gifted members. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. How are you doing today? And uh, to everybody who just received a membership, welcome to the family. And Phil, out really stoked about you playing this game. Hey, I, I'm I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm I'm definitely having a good time, especially now that we're uh, we're getting a little bit of organization going here. We'll be able to prioritize uh, what we need to do a little bit better, also. And in here, we're going to do just regular crafting components. Rags, uh, duct tape, throw wood in there, maybe some lashings. We're just going to throw crafting materials in here. Grab my shirt back. Throw the scissors in there. Yeah, so I'm just going to throw, like, crafting components in here. Like, that's crafting component for sure. Bandages. Up. Clothing, no. Empty bottles, sure. Crafting, 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 and craft. I'm also going to have uh, some crafting resources upstairs, too, but... The good thing is, once shit's in the locker, if I want one of these lockers upstairs, I can just grab the whole locker and move it. Okay, we got more crafting stuff up here. Did, they, did we start cake time? Okay. Okay, so we, yeah, we'll, we'll start down here. We'll do more crafting resources up because I'm definitely not going to be able to fit them all down in the locker downstairs either. I do have a feather somehow. Uh,
Hey, Chris Frazier, thank you for the sub, brother. I was thinking about doing, like, medical supplies and shit, but we don't even really have any. We can throw meds in here. Um, but yeah, we don't have a whole lot when it comes to, like, meds. For right now, I'm going to throw these in the bottom. Throw our clothing in here. Extra clothing. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going to throw items that, you know, we can use in here that aren't necessarily, like, crafting per se, but... Um, more med stuff here. The alcohol is for crafting. Elizabeth, thank you for the sub. I appreciate you. Got a couple empty bottles. We're actually going to go fill all of our uh, water sources up. These, like, with water and uh, come and try to top off the... This right here. I think because it's empty. No, no, it actually... It actually has water in it. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't. Does it? Yeah, that's 2.5 liters in it. So we did fill it already once. I don't know what this blue thing is for. Chat wants me to save. I'm going to save here in a sec. I mean, just for the just for for the sake of you know, I'm gonna do it for chat. We just saved right now. And I think I have one more empty locker upstairs we can use for just more crafting stuff. <clears throat> we go so we are organized guys kind of organized enough for now organized enough for now so i am going to go ahead we're going to drink this and eat We need to go on a hunt. We need to go on a hunt, secure some food. So I know you can build like refrigerators, but I don't know how you how you get power. So do you build like generators or something? Yeah, a generator right here. We need gears. How do you get gears? So this holds a lot of water. Holy crap. We got some good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so 20 hours I've found one gear. You need to build a forge for gears. Okay. Cool. 
Two with the 22 months, brother. Missed I played this years ago, but it was very early access. How do you like compare to other games of this genre? It's pretty cool, Guru, for sure, man. It's got it's got some good depth to it, for sure. Um, and it's hard. It's definitely got some hardcore survival aspects to it. Um, that's for damn sure. Okay, so the truck's all good. Um, got our weapons on us. Do I want to keep this as my ma main melee weapon, though? No, I'm going to drop this. It's a tool. We'll keep it a tool. Um, grab. Oh, you know what? That spear actually wasn't that bad. So we'll keep the spear. We got our bow and our rifle. Rifle has 14 rounds of ammunition. So maybe we shouldn't rock rifle right now. The rifle is... I, I want to save this rifle up for uh, when we go to take on some human enemies. So for a gun... Keep that on me, the 9 mil. We are scraping ammo. And then I think we'll keep our shotgun for hunting. And that way we're not taking up too much inventory. We got a shotgun. We got our handgun. And then we got the bow and arrow, which I, I do want to get better at. So we can start using that as our, like, primary weapon. All right, so let's go grab a... Uh, grab the gas. Everybody's bringing up the gas. Yeah, I definitely want to have our fuel cans. And... Keep batteries in the truck too, just in case our flashlight dies. We need batteries. Keep bandages on us, just in case we take some damage. Okay. So big time need food. Could easily hit the woods, see if we can spot some. We got a lot of boar down the road from our base, too. I want to thank you all for almost 700 likes on the stream. That's absolutely insane. I'll keep that extra gas can in there. We're going to throw the rest of this fuel in the truck. Okay. So we're sitting at a decent amount of gas, I feel. 15 liters. And then while we're out and about, this is the stuff we're just going to keep in the truck. These water bottles got to get filled. All right, there it is. So we're going to save here, guys, and next episode, because um, we're coming up on the end anyways, we're going to start the episode off with hunting, because if you guys can see here, that's all the food we got. We have food, four food, uh, cans of food, so I think we're going to um, we're gonna get in a truck, we'll head down, we're going to maybe try to hit a boar or two in this area, try to get that meat, and then... Um, then I'm going to drive down to the auto shop thing, try to get a, a knife out of there because we need the knife. And uh, we might hit these buildings here, see if we can get maybe a couple more cans of food and something out of it. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's the plan for the beginning of next episode. Hunting, getting some water too. We got to fill those water, uh, water jugs up. I was thinking about maybe making like a big ass water container. That we can fill. Is there like a big ass water container you can fill and bring to. Uh, to like a lake or something to fill up like. what? Wh which one can you do that with?
like this water barrel, can you fill this at a lake? Or would I have to have a bucket and then just like bucket from... So I could take this water barrel, right? Put it on the back of my truck. Grab a bucket. Go down to the lake. I could fill this with 100 liters of dirty water. And then bring this back up to base. And then that way I don't have to keep making trips to the water. I can just store water here. Okay, so that's the plan then. That's how we're going to secure water. Now we just got to figure out how to help. We're going to get nails. So I can make a bucket easy. That's cheap. Probably get a crowbar to it at some point. Here we go. Nails. Yeah, so we can make nails in bucket. Too easy. Too easy. So that's the plan, guys. That is the plan. Um... So thank you all for hanging out. We got another stream going uh, here in a little bit. I'm going to eat my dinner, and then uh, we're going to be playing some L.A. Noir. We should be able to finish the game tonight. So thank you so much for hanging out. Um, if you guys haven't on your way out, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, please consider subscribing. I do, again, thank you all for allowing me to get to 50,000 subscribers. That's still crazy to even think about. Almost at 51K. Uh, so you all have a great night. If I don't see you in the next one, it is what it is. Hopefully I'll see you in the one after that. But uh, thank you guys again. See you in the next one. Peace.